Welcome to Northwest Aqua Hobby, everybody. My channel focuses on the planted aquarium hobby, and I bring new content every single weekend, and I try to also upload even more than that. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That really means a lot to me. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button as well. In today's video, you're gonna be joining me on a journey to Petco to purchase a couple more tanks. Currently, they are doing their dollar per gallon sale, so this is the time to get tanks if you're in the market for them. But before we jump into this video, I gotta give a shout out to my buddy over at Cornish Aaron Aquariums. His channel is also focused on the tropical fish keeping hobby, and he has some huge plans for the next couple of months, guys. This guy's actually out of the UK, so that brings a whole new twist to this hobby. If you've got some time, you should definitely go check out his channel. I'll leave a, a link to his channel in the description below, and at the end of this video, I'll also have a clickable link, that way that you can subscribe to his channel if you want to. So I think that's enough talking, guys. It's time to go pick up some new tanks, so let's jump into the video. got out of Petco and it was a successful trip. I did get a couple more fish tanks. Uh, originally I was thinking I was going to get maybe a couple of 5.5 gallons and uh, a 20 gallon long, but I ended up going with actually a 29 gallon back there and my reasoning for that is Blue, my electric blue Acara. He's getting pretty big and eventually he's going to need a bigger tank, so I think that's going to be you know, his ultimate home, if you will. Um, but aside from that, I did also get a couple of lids. I got two lids for uh, 10 gallon tanks. And I did pick up an additional 10 gallon tank as well. And I also have one just kind of in my supplies back at home that I'm not using currently. So my plans for the racking system, I'm gonna be putting blue in the 20 gallon long on the bottom shelf. And then I'm gonna put uh, a 10 gallon, probably this one, on the second shelf, and then another 10 gallon on the third shelf. That's kind of what I'm what I'm thinking for now. The 20 gallon or the 29 gallon, the new one here, that's gonna be going on my coffee table. And for the time being, I'm gonna set up a hydroponic grow system so that I can grow out uh, various aquatic plants that I can use in different projects and things like that. So that's what I got guys, a couple of new tanks and a couple of glass lids as well. Can't wait to get these set up and you know, thank goodness for that Petco dollar per gallon sale because I definitely saved a lot of money um, with this fish tank purchase. So I got about a 45 minute drive to get home and can't wait to get these into the fish room and get them set up. It's probably gonna be a while before I actually do get them set up, um, but I can at least put them in the fish room and show you guys what I'm working with. All right guys, so here are the tanks. Picked this one up today and I picked that one up today as well. And then I did also pick up 
two lids and those are for 10 gallon tanks. So one's gonna go on this tank and then one will go on that tank. And then to summarize kind of what I had discussed in the car, Blue's tank is going to move down to the bottom rack and he's gonna stay down there for the time being. And then on the second shelf, I'm gonna have one of the 10 gallon tanks. And on the third shelf, I'm gonna have the other 10 gallon tank. I think these two tanks, I'm gonna move over to this uh, log coffee table here. And then this 29 gallon tank is essentially gonna be going on this coffee table. And within that tank, I'm gonna be doing an immersed grow setup. And essentially it's gonna be a really simple hydroponic setup. So I should be able to optimize plant growth and produce a bunch of plants to be able to use in all my various projects. Anyways, it's gonna be a lot of work and it's definitely gonna be a while before I get these tanks all set up. I need to get some lights for them. Um, so I'd be, you know, keeping an eye out. I'm probably gonna have videos on that, you know, within the next, I don't know, month or so. So that's it for today's video, guys. Picked up another couple tanks. The fish room is really starting to come together. I think that the racking system, once I get those new tanks installed, is gonna be looking awesome. Um, the Immersed Grow 40 gallon tank is really starting to come together. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for an update on that one. And there's gonna be a lot of changes happening in the fish room. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video guys.